Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to my what's on my Android phone video. I made a similar video last year and I guess this is the best time to make an updated video because I got a new device. I'm currently using the HTC One M8. Since we're talking about my Android phone, I'm also going to show you what I'm using as a case. So right now I'm using the Slim Armor case from Spigen. It's a very elegant case, it looks very nice. The inner shell is made out of a TPU material, and the outer shell is made out of plastic. I was looking for a case that can give my device a good amount of protection, and I got this. So overall, I really enjoy using this case with my phone. So let's go into my device. I get a lot of questions about my wallpapers, my widgets, my launcher, my icon packs, stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to cover that and I'm going to show you some of the applications I use on a daily basis. All right, so first I'm going to show you my launcher. Now this is a very popular launcher. I'm pretty sure you know what this is. It is Nova Launcher. It's the free version. It's not Nova Launcher Prime. As of right now, I don't need all of these pro features. So I'm using the free version and this is a very clean and very fast launcher. It basically resembles stock Android or vanilla Android, Android 4.4 KitKat. So if you don't like your default skins on your Android devices, for example, my HTC One has the Sense 6.0 skin, which isn't a bad skin, but if you have the Samsung TouchWiz or some other skins on your device, you might want to install a custom launcher such as Nova Launcher just to change up the theme and the user interface of your device. So here in Nova Launcher, you get a lot of options to customize your device from your home page to your app drawer to your dock to your lock screen, just a bunch of options to further customize your device. For the icon pack, I get this question asked all the time. The icon pack is called Knox. It's not a free icon pack. I believe it's just about $2 around that. They have a lot of unique looking icon designs and they're constantly updating app icons. So if you download these icon packs, they will give you a lot of nice looking wallpapers. The current one I'm using is from the icon pack called Stark. By the way, another great icon pack, you should definitely check it out. And if you're looking for some more wallpapers, you should definitely download Ultra HD wallpapers from the Google Play Store. They have a lot of nice looking wallpapers and they're of course UHD ultra high definition. All right, now I'm gonna show you some widgets I use. So the clock widget I'm using is called Dash Clock. So right now I have four extensions, my weather widget, email, text messages, and my missed calls. You can adjust some of the settings and also the appearance of the clock. So the weather widget I'm using right now is called Eye in the Sky. And in my opinion, this is the best looking weather widget for your device. You can tap on the widget to see your weather forecast. I got two more widgets on the right. One is the Twitter widget and the other one is the Google Plus widget. Of course, I also have the Google search widget on my homepage, which is very convenient. And below that, I have four quick toggles from the Nova Launcher. So I can hide my status bar, do Google voice search, access my recent applications, and also access my quick settings without having to swipe down from the status bar. And lastly, I got two agenda or calendar widgets. You can download and install them for free. It's called calendar agenda widget. All right, now let's move on to some of the applications I use very often. I have them organized in these folders, so let's begin from the left side. So in my books folder, I do have the Aldeco application, which is basically a PDF or EPUB reader, Amazon Books, and also Audible. Sometimes I do listen to audiobooks. In my second folder are some games. To be honest, I don't really spend a lot of time playing games on my phone, but I do have a few games. So Vector is basically like a running game. You have to dodge or jump over obstacles and reach certain destinations. Very simple concept. And then Cut the Rope, Flappy Bird, Fruit Ninja, I'm pretty sure you know what they are, very popular games. MX Meltdown, it's a motorcycle game. Pocket Plane is, I guess, a simulation game. You basically control these airplanes in these airports. Very fun and addictive game. Riptide GP is a game that I use to test the graphics or the GPU of the phone. Slot Dozer is a very time-wasting game. I don't play this very often anymore. And then I have Smash Hit. Basically, you hit these, I guess, glass panels, and then you try to hit as many as you can to see your high score. Sonic Dash is kind of similar to Temple Run. It's an endless running game. And then I have Super Stickman Golf 2. It's a 2D golfing game, and the levels at the end are actually pretty hard. 
And I have Tiny Tower, it's also a very popular game, it's from the same developers who made Pocket Planes. So these are just some of the games I have on my phone, which I don't really play a lot. The next folder contains some of the launchers and some icon packs that I have. So Themer is a really unique looking launcher. And then the Stark Icon Pack, I mentioned this before, it's another great looking icon pack. Same with Tursus, also another very clean and very simplistic icon pack. Solo Launcher, Action Launcher, and Aviate are just some of the other launchers that I have. Of course, I have the Nova Launcher Settings app, and also my favorite icon pack right now, which is called Nox. In my next folder, I have some utility applications like the Flashlight. App Lock is basically an application that allows you to lock different applications on your device. So for example, I don't want others to access my phone or my messages or my gallery. I can simply lock these applications with a passcode. Astro is a great free system file manager for your Android devices. I mentioned this widget before, which is called the Calendar Agenda widget. And then I have Downloads, Lookout, which is a very nice antivirus software for my Android phone. And if I lose my device, I can actually track my device using this application. And I have QR code scanner, SoundCloud, which I use to find music for my videos. And these are just some of my utility applications. Moving on to my productivity applications, to be honest, if I'm on my phone, I don't really get a lot of things done, but I do have a few apps for my productivity. So I have Polaris Office 5, which is kind of like Microsoft Word, but uh, it's for Android phones, of course. Google Play Store Books, CIBC for my banking, Google Docs, which I use very often, maybe not on my phone, but I use it very often on my computer, is my preferred way to write documents. And then I have Google Drive, which is another Google service that I use very often. And lastly, I have Google Keep, which is something that I began using quite recently. I can easily write quick notes or things to do, which is quite convenient. And in my last folder, I have some social networks that I don't use very often, such as Facebook and Skype. On the homepage, I have a bunch of default applications such as Maps, Photos, some of the Google services, Google Plus. I'm pretty active on Google Plus, so be sure to follow me there. I'll put the links in the description. I also have YouTube, Camera, which is actually the default HTC camera app, the Gallery application, and NBA Game Time. I do keep up with most NBA games. Down below in my dock, I have Google Play Store, Chrome, Gmail, and also the Hangouts application. I do have my SMS messages and my Google Plus messages in this app. Scrolling to the right, I have a few more apps that I use very often, such as Settings, Instagram, Twitter, and Downloads. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm also very active on these social networks. Again, links will be in the description, or you can just search my name, Kim Films HD, and follow me. So this basically concludes my What's on my Android early 2014 edition. Well, not really early 2014, I guess mid 2014 edition. I'm probably going to make another What's on my Android phone video near the end of 2014 when I get a new device, most likely the Galaxy Note 4, or maybe the next generation Google Nexus. Five. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And also leave a comment down below letting us know what's your favorite launcher, icon pack, widget, application for Android so others can see your comment so you can leave a suggestion for other users. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in my next video.